Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I am in my Dog Days of Summer series showing you some illustrations in Bibles that you could also illustrate yourself. So these are quick videos, and this one is from the Inspire Purple video, the Praise Bible. And they have a whole series of these. They do have a new one coming out as well. And I'll just flip through a few pages so you can get an idea of the types of illustrations they have in these. This particular one has some vellum pages in it. I think some of their other versions may as well. So you can browse around on the websites and find out more about them. But they have a variety of illustrators who have done the artwork in them. So they don't all match that sort of thing, but they're a lot of fun to color. They have some that are really complex images, some that are very simple. And I don't even remember how many of these vellum pages they have, but you can see there's a reasonable selection of them and a whole bunch of different styles of things to color. So I chose this light bulb. You could make just basically a round light bulb with a hooky bob on the end of it easily enough without having to have a piece of artwork to trace or anything, and then make a triangle coming down from it. This one has black lines coming down from it to indicate the light shining down and then the words underneath of it. What I'm gonna do is create a slow gradation of color going from yellow to yellow orange to orange to red to a deeper red and just have that light getting further and further away from the light bulb because of course that's how it would happen in reality you would have more light right at the light source and it would slowly fade out and it also makes a beautiful rainbow on the page so it's kind of pretty that way get all the way down to the bottom and you can go back up over some of the colors overlap them a bit so that they blend nicer. And I don't even very often use any blending solutions. I've done that a few times here in videos, but since it sometimes ends up with the oil stain kind of coming through the backside, I just don't even bother because I can make it blend pretty nicely using my pencils. So I'm gonna use a similar rotation of colors going from red to orange to a reddish purple and then I'm gonna to go to a bluish purple because what I wanna do is have the darkness from the place where the light is shining from up above in the top section. So it's going from this dark bluish purple then into a navy blue. And that gives that nice gradation of the light bulb hanging in a dark room and indicating that it's it's got this light shining down from it. I'm gonna take this piece of art just a little bit further because I wanted to cover up the fact that there was this big black line because if you have a normal light that's coming down from something, it would maybe be speckled light. So I decided to do that with dots of white. But I think if you were coloring this on your own, just having that gradation of colors would work great. And then I made the line above in white pen as well. And my little hearts down at the bottom were colored yellow and I put white outlines around them. You could do all different kinds of things with the colors in your lettering. If you wanted to put the word light in this verse in white, that would look beautiful as well. So that's just a quick idea for you if you need something to spark your creative imagination during this last part of summer. I'll be back again next week with another in this series. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you soon.